I gotta thank Angry Cops for uh, giving me the ammunition for this video because I knew people didn't like that we have a day dedicated to uh, men and women of uniform who died overseas so that we can have freedoms so that we can take advantage of and not understand the gravity of those uh, sacrifices. But I gotta thank uh, Angry Cops for doing his video. It allows me to do this video. So, thanks buddy. So let's go into this ditzy, dumb, millennial weirdo that thinks that people dying overseas is somehow worthy of praise or that we should celebrate it. Uh, no, we don't celebrate dead people and their sacrifice. We honor them by having a day to remember them. Jeez, what, an, what a dumbass. It's so weird that we have an entire holiday just dedicated to murder. No, we have an entire day dedicated to the men and women in uniform that have died overseas for our freedoms that we take for granted every day. Because Memorial Day, it's just about the soldiers who we have who have gone overseas and gotten killed. By filthy, dirty, disgusting terrorists and people who threaten our way of life and people who want to see your head on a stick. And it's like, if you really wanted to support our troops, you would just be anti war that is such an infantile, elementary, childish way of looking at what a sacrifice is. And as someone who apparently claims to study theology as part of her curriculum for her profession, you really should look at what sacrifice means to people. Because it's embarrassing that you can, you know... Read in the Bible that Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice and paid for the sins of the world while you're, you know, on the internet shitting on people who paid the ultimate sacrifice and died so that you can be on the internet and talk shit about them. That soldiers, right, their profession is to kill people, right? That, like, that's their training. They are trained killers. Yeah, because it would probably be horrifically embarrassing to the government if they sent people who were master crocheters and racquetball players into a war zone where they get mortared and shot and sniped and RPG'd and blown up on roadsides every day. So yeah, they're going to be trained on how to handle situations and how to defend themselves. Obviously. Memorial Day would have a different meaning if all the people that died for this country did show in chicken shit pussy ways and they allowed it to happen. But she's not done. She made another one. The Constitution of the United States of America says that our rights are inherent. They're from God. They're given to us at birth. The government cannot take away our rights or give them to us. They are ours at birth. So for those of you out there who are like, our soldiers die for our freedom, they protect our freedom, mm. no, no, they're ours, without the military intervening at all, mm. no, they do not protect our freedom, they're just ours. Ooh, a level of ignorance and ego coming from that one 45 second long clip. Okay, uh, honey, let's say a foreign power invades the United States and reduces our way of life to the 1800s. No internet, no television, no radios, no cars, no sense of modern living whatsoever. Who's going to stop that? You? Why? Are you going to ego your way through their lines and saying, No. No. They're ours. They're inherent. They're giving this to us by God. I wonder if there's a, uh, a group of guys and gals who dedicate their lives to fighting bullies like that. Oh, right. The fucking military. Jesus. Uh, she is... Fucking simple as hell. Uh.